Okay, here we are, uh, May 5th, and uh, I got an uh, upgraded ignition switch, and um, I've wired in uh, all my wires that come up into the boat, and uh, I haven't got the ignition completely hooked up yet, but I wanted to show you what this kind of looks like inside of this box here. I didn't get to show you a video before of um, taking it apart. I just kind of got in it and didn't want to uh, stop and do another video. I would get lost. But uh, anyway, this is what it kind of looks like in here. You got your your uh, neutral safety here. And, um, and then you got your uh, this plug. I still have no idea what the name of that thing is. But um, then you got your tack, tack hooks right here. It's a brown wire, hooks right there, and then this is grounded to under that. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, it's right there. Anyway, I've gotten all the wires hooked, uh, soldered back in on these, and um, I've got most of the wires hooked into this ignition here. Here's the difference between the ignitions. This is the old one. It's got these little prongs in the back. And then that's what it looked like in the front of it. You can see that whoever had it just destroyed it. So there was no hope for this one. Um, but anyway, this one right here, it, uh, it comes with uh, plugs already wired out of it. So I like that. And it also has, this one has an electric choke uh, where you just push it, you push the key in and uh, and then it'll choke it. But I'm going to make it where the choke on the top still works and the electric choke. So uh, both of them are electric chokes, but the, the key switch choke. Anyway, but uh, getting all this hooked up and this is, the, the wires didn't exactly match up. So they weren't like the same colors. I had to call... Uh, this place um, and uh, they gave me all the information really good help uh, whenever I get the name of their place and uh, their number I'll post it with this video uh, if you ever need to buy any parts and that's where I got this part right here it's almost in Kentucky but um, I got that part from them really good customer service uh, great people uh, and uh, they're willing to help you so um, I always happy to deal with somebody like that and uh, pass on the information that uh, the place where they're at so that way more people can deal with um, good customer service that's what it's all about and uh, you know I've got a place here near me that um, just has terrible customer service I mean like they, they could care less but um, you know so you know it's 15 minutes away but I drove an hour away to go get something from somebody that actually gives a shit so you know I'm not doing that but anyway back to this it's pretty it's pretty simple to get all wired up once you know what all the wires are and you just kind of solder them back in and it's pretty simple the main thing is getting the wires out of the way of everything else like this little thing here that moves you got to make sure that these wires aren't sticking out far enough to where this thing will hit it or your gearbox won't shift the way it's supposed to. Um, that's the main thing. It's just really tight in here. Uh, you know, you got you to gotta really work hard to, to try to get everything compact. And it's got these little prongs that you can push the wires behind. and You just got to get it back the way it was or get it as close as possible uh, for everything to work in there. But uh, anyway, this is... This is what it looks like now, and um, hopefully I'll have this done today, and um, go ahead and see if I get my battery in here, hook it up, and see if I can get this engine to crank over, or see if it's got spark now. Um, I don't know if I had said before, I um, was going straight to the starter with a battery, and uh, thinking that it would get spark to it, but it won't because the uh, solenoid uh, isn't getting power uh, to send spark to the uh, to the spark plugs and all that so uh, I had to get all this rewired in order to even test that and it's been 
quite a few days of just messing around and messing around doing this. So, but uh, I'm saving myself a ton of money. So, appreciate you watching again and uh, comment, uh, rate, and subscribe, please. And uh, just let me know if uh, if if you enjoyed, you know, these videos. Um, you know, and I and I hope it can help you out in some way. Thanks.